What's up guys, Headphones Neilan with a very special web exclusive review in the form of something I learned recently as far as custom live wallpaper goes. So if you know me and you've seen some of my Android reviews, you know that I like Android customization and custom live wallpaper is one of those apps that lets me do that. And as you can tell, there's a number of icons missing down here at the bottom and same thing with my favorite apps. So it's a problem of being able to use Icon Z in order to extract icons from uh, installed icon packs and then use it with custom live wallpaper maker. So the issue is currently as far as my layout goes is that I have these icons that you see here uh, listed vertically and horizontally down at the bottom of the screen. So going into change them requires going into the menu, the particular line item, and then the image and changing it. So I was thinking, well, if th there is a way to pos possibly reduce the number of steps in order to make that change. And then I got to thinking that um, if there's a way to use global variables to do that, but as you can tell, um, there would be, you know, something like looks like 10 to 15 different entries in order to have listed here and it would just be a very long list of um, global variables so maybe an additional step would be to potentially create folders one for the doc and one for favorite apps so i could kind of keep the list uh, cleaner than having just a single list of all global variables and I learned that uh, when I, if I do want to do that, Custom Live Wallpaper Maker has that sort of option. So what you'll do is you'll switch the global screen. And I'm just going to do the dock for now to show the change. Um, so if it makes it easier for you, then it's something to help you learn as well. So you'll switch the global tabs, which I'm already on. You'll click, click on the plus sign. Um, you'll type in a name for what we're going to do is create a folder. So I'm going to uh, call it dock icons. Oh, and I can't fit icon, so I'm going to um, just call it doc and then change it from color to folder. And you can enter a description if you want. So um, I'll do doc icon pack and hit OK. So now I have a folder set up and I'm going to need four separate entries as far as a text or formula goes. So I'm going to do this four times. I'm going to call the title for the first one um, app uh drawer and that actually doesn't fit so i'll just call it apps and then app drawer icon and i'm going to change the type from color to text and i'll hit okay and i'm going to do this four times so before i go over to icon z i'm going to have these entries ready so the next one is going to be favorite apps so fave apps and um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna put a more descriptive name like that. So favorite icons. Oh, and I forgot to change the type, so I'm gonna have to go um, back. And that's the one thing that's annoying is being unable to change a global variable after it's set. So something that hopefully you can catch um, as you go along. Um, and so the next one is going to be uh, notifications. Um, so I'll just call it notify and change the type and then notifications icon and the last one is going to be the media player so media player is not going to fit so i'll just call it media and change that so media player icon where and it doesn't look like it's saved so i have to redo that so media okay so now i have my four variable set or my four uh, text type set for icon z i'm going to do a quick save and so now what you'll do is um, you'll grab the formula for each icon and um fill it into that text box. So I'll start with the app drawer used with custom. And it's nice to have icons you ready as a free, as a recent app to, that you've recent that you've used so you can easily switch back and forth. When you in an in custom live wallpaper maker when you touch the um, global variable you can paste the formula into it. 
and you'll do that for all your apps. So that way the um, variables or the global variables are all set and ready to go. And the thing I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna progressively save as I go. So that way, um, if there's any issues or you know the app crashes on me or anything weird like that happens, at least I have a good save point. So all the variables have been set. So um, now when I um, go into the doc, I can ch I'm gonna change the formula to pull from those global variables. So that way I don't have to go into as many menus to change those icons. So I'm gonna go into my shortcuts stack group. I'm gonna go into apps, image, and I'm going to replace the formula from icon Z with the global variable. So I have them all listed here. So you see a bunch of text ones. So I'm gonna change it to apps and it pull the icon change. So uh, one down three to go. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. And so while I do this, you'll notice that I'm not changing the one for weather because I actually have that set to change based on current weather conditions. So um, Custom Live Wallpaper Maker already has a component that kind of matches the theme I'm going for. So I can now exit out of that and I now have icons that I can easily change by um, switching from by just using the formula so if i ever change you know one of these icons then i will be easy it'll be easy to um go right into custom live wallpaper maker and then um change the global variables in the in the particular folder so i don't actually have to go into the particular stack group so that's all there is for this particular review and FYI. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, you can comment on this post on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01 and comment on the video or on or uh, contact me on Twitter at PatelN01. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more regular content from Headphones Neil Reviews. But thanks for tuning in to this particular uh, review and video in today I learned and until next time.